In this video, we want to solve this equation and get the value of x such that x should be between 0 degree and 360. Now, this equation, what we can clearly see is that uh, it involves and the trigonometric functions but uh, keep in mind that somewhere somehow we should get a quadratic equation that we can solve either by factorization or using other methods let's see how it works um, the very first thing to do is that we should move this term on the right to come on the left so that we can equate it to zero and when we do that we are going to have seven cosine x plus five this side is positive when it comes this side it becomes negative then we have negative two sine square x equals to zero now, what we can see here, the term with a square should come in front. Then we are going to have negative 2 sine square x plus 7 cosine x plus 5 equals to 0. We did not do anything we only changed this term with a square to come in front and the rest remain the same now what we need to recall here is that uh, since we have cosine x here we need to change this sine square x into cosine so that we can work with one variable now the reason for that is because it's easy for us to get what is sine square x equal to, remembering the identities. We know that sine square x is equal to 1 minus cosine square x. Therefore, we can now replace this sine square x by that. Then we are going to have minus 2, open bracket, 1 minus cosine square x plus 7 cosine x plus 5 equals to 0. What we can now do here, we now have to distribute this negative 2 all the terms inside the bracket then you're going to have negative 2 and then this negative and the negative becomes positive 2 cosine square x plus 7 cosine square x ah, yes cosine x plus 5 equals 2 we can now simplify by adding or subtracting the like terms. We have negative 2 here and positive 5. Those two we can add them together. Then we can write 2 cosine square x plus 7 cosine x plus 5. We can now take this negative 2 come where positive 5 x equals to 0 then we are going to have 2 cosine square x plus 7 cosine x positive 5 minus 2 we get positive 3 equals to 0 now this is a quadratic equation if we can replace cosine square x by y square 
and the cosine x by y then we can have the the normal quadratic equation that we are used to now what we have to do here is that uh, since we know that we can solve the quadratic equation uh, by either factorization completing square or using the quadratic formula but here we can use a factorization now what we have to do here is that uh, in case you have forgotten how to solve a quadratic equation by factorization we take this number in front of the term with a square and we also take uh, the, the constant we multiply those two and we are getting positive 6 now what we need is to get the factors of 6 that we can multiply to get positive 6 when we add them we should get positive 7 we know the factors of 6 1 2 3 and 6 you can see that if we can take these two if we multiply them we can get 6 but when we add these two we cannot get positive 7 therefore the only numbers are 1 and 6 we multiply 1 and 6 we get positive 6 we add 1 and 6 we get positive 7 therefore we can now write 2 cosine square x we should now replace the 7 cosine x by cosine x and 6 cosine x then we can now write um, cosine x plus we don't need to write 1 in front of cosine and then we write 6 cosine x plus 3 equals to 0 now what we can do here we can try to group since we have four terms we can try to group them like that so that we can identify the the common factor now the common factor here is cosine x and then we are left with 2 cosine x plus here we have 1 and then plus the common factor here is 3 and then we divide 6 by 3 we get 2 cosine x plus 1 equals to 0 the fact that we have 2 cosine x plus 1 inside the brackets it means we are on the right way so we can now take cosine x plus 3 and put them in one bracket and then we take these two brackets we just need to write 1 everything equal to 0 now what we now need to do here is that we have to equate each bracket to 0 then you are going to have cosine x plus 3 equals to 0 or 2 cosine x plus 1 equals to 0 then we can now take move this positive 3 to go to the other side then we have cosine x is equal to negative 3 or 2 cosine x equals to other side becomes negative 1 this side we can leave it there for now let's look on the other side we can now divide both side by 2 so that these two and these two can cancel and then we only have cosine x equals to negative 1 over 2 but that is not the solution what we want to get is the value of x according to what we are given here we want to find x the value should be between 0 and 360 now this side if we can try to get if we can try to get inverse of cosine negative 3 like we can write like this inverse of cosine 
in negative 3. While this side, we should have x equal to inverse of cosine negative half. Now, let's use a calculator and see what we are getting here. Let's start what we have this side. Inverse of cosine, and then inside we have negative 3. We have negative 3 equal to, we are getting math error. It means that this side, there is no solution. Well, the other side, we have inverse inverse of cosine negative half we are getting 120 therefore it means that our x is equal to 120 degree therefore this is the only solution and you can see that 120 degree is indeed between 0 degree and 360. This is how you actually have to solve this type of equations. And if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe so that you can watch more videos.